Hello, I'm Mione here, and welcome back to another glamour-related video for Final Fantasy XIV. So there I was recently sitting to myself thinking what glamour I could actually come up with to suit certain parts of the new peacock outfit that was added to the cash shop yesterday on the 26th of May. A bunch of you mentioned in the comment section of various videos that we previewed it in, and of course on social media, that you weren't too sure about the versatility that this glamour would bring. So we have to bear in in mind that chess major downfall is the feathered ruff around the collar so your choice of hair on your character will probably determine if this chest will be something that you want to go and invest into or not or of course if you're willing to change your hairstyle i know there's a bunch of people who have a favorite hairstyle and they won't change for anything and of course there are a lot of people who have shorter hairstyles or male characters so that point will probably be completely negated anyway I personally have a favorite hairstyle, but I'm willing to change things up if I can find something that looks good. You'll note then that the first couple of ideas that I came up with in this footage, while simple, were actually pretty good at demonstrating the simple matching of some of the items that they uh, bring to the table. The skirt then is actually a long and slightly basic looking thing, but usually has quite elaborate details on the front. You will note then that the Hanish wool autumn shirt I chose here has actually removed the ribbon and many other details from the skirt itself. So it does actually have layers built into it that can be removed by equipping certain items. We've seen this on many, many other items in the game, but it's nice to see that there are more like that. It's both really good if you want a long plain skirt like this, but also something to note if you do decide that you wanted something long as a chest to go with the skirt, um, but, and if you want a detail, then you must know that the likelihood is it will actually remove a lot of those details and indeed the ribbons. So that's why I wanted to include this footage. And it kind of looks like the head of a house of some Victorian manor or something like a matron. Moving along then, I wanted to demonstrate the amazing gloves on offer from the peacock outfit, so I put together a basic tank glamour. We have the chivalric coat of fending here along with the peacock gloves, and I think they match together really nicely. The gloves are very detailed, and when I've come to put together a tank glamour in the past, a lot of the time the gloves are always rather basic from the selection I have to choose from. And sometimes you want just a bit of an extra flair, or perhaps not too much metal, and you know maybe a bit of leather so we have these at our disposal for both sort of like dress designs such as the peacock outfit itself and stuff with a little more defensive of a look to it and i think it complements this chess piece really great there's just enough detail but not too much to draw away from the rest of the set it kind of looks like it went with the chest in the first place which is one of the things I always try to go for if I choose pieces to go together. They actually dye really wonderfully as well, just some of the soot black on this stuff, and the leather of the gloves almost turns to sort of like gunmetal black in appearance with the slight luminosity layer that they have built into the leather texture, which is really, really cool. And then finally, I settled on a glamour using the gloves and the chest for my healer, those two particular parts together. I wanted to make something to mimic perhaps a sort of like ASEAN theme or something akin to that, perhaps even sort of like a brilliant Chinese strategist or battlefield commander. I love the way that the robes actually look in pure white with that sort of white black balance. I tried to follow that through with some of the other dye options there. There's a lot of pure white applied to this set as you can imagine. The bone wicker mask here won't be everyone's cup of tea, a lot of people like to see their character's face, but I thought it was quite an interesting pairing and obviously I was going for that ASEAN look um, and I wanted something a little bit more stylish than just a normal mask. Again the hair is an issue so I decided to go for the Alma's hair specifically to keep up the semblance of length, but at the same time not overly clipped to the point of my OCD flaring up. I love how the details come to life with bright colours from this chest. This and the ruby red dye are my favorite ways to display it. The gold and brass really pops out against those velvet blacks there, especially on the back of the dress as well. The peacock on the back actually takes in much of the dye that you choose, which is really nice to see. And I think the merit is that it doesn't look out of place. Like, you could have this on so many different sort of outfits, sort of designs. It doesn't look out of place because it could have so many different meanings in this world. And even with my idea of the sort of ASEAN angle in this design, I think that it's entirely possible 
possible that this could have been sort of like a common outfit you might have seen in Asian wear at least some point in time, judging by what Emmett Selk has worn in the MSQ in the past. The staff then that I chose is Nirvana, which is the A Realm Reborn White Mage Relic. I just chose that to finish it off. It's got Snow White dye on it because you don't really need anything beyond that. You don't need a pure white because it's glowy enough. And I think it sort of helped sort of cap off the set. I'm not sure how long I'll actually use this set in combination for. I'm already getting a little bit itchy not having my usual sort of long hair um, that Mione's more popular, you know, seen in. But it certainly was quite fun to try new things out. I'm curious as to what you guys have put together, however, with this outfit. If you perhaps found uses from the parts for this to make completely different looks and feels. And uh, yeah, if you can get creative, try some stuff and hop over to my Discord, which should be publicly available. And there should be a link in the description below. Feel free to join up. Uh, give yourself the viewer role in the role selections channel. And then you'll be able to access the, uh, the, the screenshots folder and also the thread on glamour show off as well and post your creations there there's a lot of really talented people posting glamour ideas there as well i use it as a resource as well it, it's really really nice to see what people can come up with i advise you do the same either way thank you kindly for watching this video again thank you kindly for 60,000 subscribers and rising it's ridiculous and i love each and every one of you and i'll see you all next time